This is my ultimate Christmas gift guide for crossfitters. Buying for crossfitters can be super hard. You don't want to get the wrong thing or something that doesn't work for its purpose, like a pair of grips that wear out after a couple of weeks or a belt with the wrong kind of buckle on it. I've been doing crossfit for six years and I know pretty much everything that a crossfitter would need. I also know all of the good brands to buy from and I've added in some really funky stuff in here. I've got 15 items to go through. Some are larger items and some are more like stocking fillers, but I guarantee you'll find something here that they will love. And all of these you can pretty much buy last minute because the majority of them are on Amazon. I'm a last minute shopper myself. If in doubt, I just jump on Amazon and get something that will arrive tomorrow. So the first one is a gym bag. If your crossfitter has a lot of stuff, you want to get them one like this. These can be around £150. I'm not sure what that is in dollars, but very expensive because they're branded with a specific brand. This one isn't. And I got it off Amazon and it was a lot cheaper, probably a third of the price. And that's because all they do is they get this kind of original brand from a manufacturer and then they label it with their brand. And it's got multiple different compartments, but you can see you can fit loads of stuff in there. And a main pocket there, and bits where you can stick your patches on from your competitions. That bag comes in lots of different colours, and with everything in this video, I'm going to link it in the description. Here are a few of the other colours that it comes in. So secondly is a belt. I've left mine at the gym, I'm gutted. <laughs> but it's a gold sequin belt, and this is from Too Pooed, and I've also linked another one that goes to the UK. You can get lots of different colours of this too, and I've also linked a more plain version, which is coincidentally the belt that Danny Spiegel wears who is arguably the strongest crossfitter so she definitely knows what kind of belt you need. <laughs> Plainer version again comes in lots of different colours and this one's got the right kind of adjustable belt. What you don't want is one of those big chunky solid buckles because that gets in the way when you're snatching and this one is the right thickness if your crossfitter also competes in Olympic weightlifting. If it's slightly thicker at the back that can't be used in Olympic weightlifting. I also found another one that's got some cute donuts on it. I've not tried this one but I just put it in because the pattern was awesome but it is the same kind of standard width. Now grips are super important. You can see I've got calluses on my hands and if the person you're buying for constantly has ripped hands they probably need some grips. Often when crossfitters just start they buy cheaper grips that don't really work very well. These two companies are really good. They're very similar to the grips that I use. So we've got Pixel and Bear Complex. The Bear Complex ones are more like my grips where they have no finger holes. But if you think they'll prefer finger holes then go for the Pixel ones. These are both like a leather kind of material so they're not going to be slippy and they're going to hang them onto the bar really well and they are thick enough. We don't want those like fabric ones that rip after a couple of weeks. Knee sleeves. These can be super important especially if they're complaining about sore knees all the time or that their knees take a while to warm up especially if you've got a masters athlete. The ones that I find really good are the rehab band ones which we have in the UK. They come in different thicknesses. I would go for the one that I've linked. That's the kind of standard thickness I would go for for CrossFit. And I've also linked another pair of cute donut ones. Again I've not tried this brand but they were just super cute. Now stance socks is an absolute staple when it comes to CrossFit. It is. Every crossfitter I know loves stance socks and they come in lots of different patterns. I've linked a couple nice ones below and I've also put a link to their general shop. They normally have a wide range of colours and patterns and lovely designs and honestly I know some people are sometimes disappointed when you get them socks for Christmas but a crossfitter will not be disappointed by stance socks. You could get them a Whoop membership or a Whoop band. So this is a fitness tracker app. The accuracy of its data number one and the user interface number two being able to just go on the app open it up immediately, see whether you're red, yellow, green, see how high your strain is around the loop from a zero to a 21. And it's used by a lot of crossfitters. It's waterproof, it tracks your recovery, your training strain, and also your sleep, and loads of other things. Whoop has done for me is allow me to really ingrain better habits. I've wanted to, as a competitive person, see my strain score get as high as it can, see my recovery score get as high as it can. So in order to do that, I've been pushing myself a little bit harder in the gym and I've been doing those little extra things to recover as much as possible to get that number up. If they're quite prone to overtraining and they burn out quite a lot this could be a really good tool to get them. So if they've already got a whoop band you could buy them one of the whoop straps. They've got loads of different colours of these. They're so pretty. If they are really into Olympic weightlifting I would recommend getting them some weightlifting straps and they're good for doing like snatch pulls and clean pulls and that kind of thing and these are the classic Olympic weightlifter style ones rather than the deadlift ones. You don't want to get those because they're too thick and clunky and you can't really snatch with them. These release really well so if they want to snatch with them they can. I also forgot to add in wrist wraps and these are the fabric ones so they're like not as rigid and they're better for Olympic weightlifting. Next is a skipping rope. I've got the RX Smart Gear one personally which is this one. It spins really well. This one has lasted me years. Probably about four years at this point and you can always replace the ropes as well. They can be slightly more expensive. If you want a cheaper one then I'd go for the Bear Complex version and that's exactly the same. It's just not got the chunkier 
handle so it's harder to hold on to and it might not be as robust so it might not last for as many years. So tape is the next one. What you want is some thumb tape that they can wrap around their thumbs while they're Olympic weightlifting and you can also get them hand grips which will stop them tearing when they are doing like gymnastics movements. They can wear them with the other grips or on their own. That one's a really good stocking filler. So more stocking fillers. I've got a workout journal. I had one of these when I started CrossFit and it really helped me record all of my PBs and it gave me so much motivation in the new year. You can get them a hand rip repair kit. I really recommend this Ward Welder one. It's got the like callus remover which is pretty gross when you think about it but it takes off the top layer of your callus so that they don't rip when you're doing like high volume gymnastics. They can often catch and then it's also got some creams and stuff to go with it to help heal up your hand as well afterwards. If they're ripping all of the time they will definitely thank you for this. So chalk is another good one. You could get them a set of chalks as well. That's a great stocking filler. Everybody needs chalk. Lifters is another one. I've got the Nicromelios and I've had these for years again. They've served me really well. I've linked below the Nicromelio 4s and if you're thinking shoes is the way to go personally from the CrossFit brands I recommend the Nike Metcons but for me I started transitioning out of kind of CrossFit shoes because I want better foot health and I don't want my toes to be cramped anymore so I wear Vivo Barefoots. These are becoming more and more popular in the CrossFit space but they're not considered a CrossFit shoe right now but I'll show you them quickly. So they they move like that they'll literally crunch up they're zero drop and they are barefoot shoes so they're wide toe box. I find them amazing for CrossFit and also they're great for deadlifting and squatting and anything that you need good contact with the ground. Got a discount code in my description for those although I used to wear Metcons and I wore Metcons for the first four or five years of my CrossFit journey. I recently transitioned into them because they're just better for my feet. And here's a bonus gift idea if you've got kids or you're buying for somebody that has kids. I thought this one was super cute. You can get CrossFit kids sets. So you can get a squishy one that's made for younger kids and babies and then you can get a barbell style one which is perfect for any slightly older kids that want to literally train with you. If you like this video I think you'll enjoy this one next. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!